We have a good thing going, Ruthenium. Yeah, Zinc. We have chemistry. Hello, Zinc and Ruthenium. In actuality, I suspect your feelings are merely physical, not chemical. Uh, Zinon, you're interrupting. Yes, I know, but when I hear atoms that don't know the difference between a chemical and physical reaction, I can't help myself. I have to set them straight. Uh, okay, but... Xenon, what are you doing? Look, I've read plenty of science journals, and I can't recall ever reading about a chemical reaction between zinc and ruthenium atoms. Allow me to show you what a chemical reaction really is. Um, Xenon, we're on a date here. I'll make this quick. Now, as you can see, I mixed brown goo powdered drink mix with water. It's just a simple physical reaction. I dissolved my drink mix in water and created a simple solution. I can sit this on the Bunsen burner until the water evaporates, and it will merely become powdered drink mix again as the surrounding air absorbs the water vapor. Yeah, okay. Physical change, we get it, but... Good! Physical changes are generally reversible, but a chemical change is not as easy to reverse. Um, okay. It looks like you're writing in the sand something about methane, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. You're much smarter than you look, Zinc. CH4 is methane, and when we combust it, like in this Bunsen burner... You mean, burn it. Yes, root to combust means to burn. You're about as smart as you look. Anyhow. Hey, Xenon, what did you mean by... As I was saying, root and zinc. We see methane in this chemical formula combined with oxygen from the air. And this arrow means it yields to become carbon dioxide gas plus water vapor. The atoms in each part of our chemical reaction do not disappear. Yeah, they just rearrange themselves. I get it. It's a chemical reaction, not just a simple physical change. Excellent, Zinc. Now, we have subscripts and coefficients in our chemical formula. Right. The little numbers are subscripts, like the 4 in CH4. They tell us how many atoms are in each molecule. Correct. CH4, the methane compound, has one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms in each molecule. And coefficients. I learned about those in math class. That makes sense, Ruth. In chemical formulas, coefficients are the larger number to the left of each molecule or compound, and they tell us proportionally how many of each molecule we have in our formula. So we have two O2, or oxygen gas molecules, in this formula, and two water molecules, but there's no coefficient in front of methane or carbon dioxide. Correct. When there's no coefficient, we presume there's just one molecule, or one molar portion. Molar portion? Like teeth? No, Ruth. In chemical formulas, we can simplify down to one molecule at a time, but in reality, we're generally talking about moles of compounds. A mole, as you may recall from when we cooked up sugar way back when, is a very large group of atoms or molecules. So this is a chemical formula representing a chemical change. One portion of CH4, methane gas, combines with two portions of oxygen gas to become one portion of carbon dioxide gas and two portions of water, H2O. Excellent, Zinc. So we have one portion of carbon on the left of the arrow and one on the right. Four portions of hydrogen on the left and two plus two on the right. You're almost there, Zinc. The coefficient multiplies everything in your molecule. Okay, I think I get it. We have two times two, or four portions of oxygen total on the left, and two times two, or four portions of hydrogen on the right. And I guess two times one oxygen... On the right in our water? Yes, plus... Oh, two times two, or four oxygen on the left, plus the two in CO2, and two more in our water molecule. Bingo, Zinc! It balances! 
equal numbers on the left and the right. And since it's much easier to combine methane and oxygen and get carbon dioxide and water than it is to reverse the equation, we call this a chemical reaction. If I break the stick, that's a chemical reaction? No. It's physical. The molecules in your stick haven't rearranged themselves into anything new. But if I burn it, chemical reaction? Yes, Zink. I think you're getting it. We can't unburn the stick, can we? In this chemical reaction, the stick molecules, along with the oxygen that helps them burn... They transform, right? They turn to ash, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Brilliant! Unlike physical changes, chemical reactions typically result in a change of temperature, sparks, bubbles, or some other indication of molecular transformation. Like barium that sparks green in fireworks. Or iron that crumbles to rust. A chemical reaction can't be reversed. Like love that we have between us. Oh, oh Xenon, isn't he dreamy? Ruth, if you're saying he's handsome, you realize that's merely physical. No, Xenon. It's love. It, it's chemistry. Like food in my belly digesting to goo. Like chemistry brewing between me and you. Like cyanide used to mine ores for extraction. It runs in our blood. A chemical reaction. Well, I'm not so sure young love is chemical and not merely physical, but I suppose it could be both. Xenon, don't you have somewhere to be? I can take a hint. <laughs>